Uh, okay there, Cowboys Nation. This is Cowboys Legends for Life. Back at you again for a few more minutes of uh, football, uh, the Dallas Cowboys talking football. Anyway, um, I'm going to try a little bit more cerebral this time to uh, focus in on the views I have to say. And that is uh, about Zeke being back. And that you don't know how happy I am to see this young man back. I don't want to get into all that crap about what happened and you know who, who's responsible and all that crap. That's, that's, already, that's already over and done with. I just know that with him in the in the um, on the field, how the field opens up for the Dallas Cowboys offense and those three Pro Bowlers that were picked this season as well. Anyway, so um, how well they're going to be doing as always. And uh, so the only problems we ever had with our offensive line was. Chaz Green and some injuries to Lyle Collins and things like that. But our offensive line have always been solid, except for that one ignorant-ass game. You know, I mean, you're going to have bad games, everybody. You can sit and win all that games this year, and they damn sure didn't win barely enough of them last year, or the year before that, or the year before that one. So anyway, anyone, anyone care to venture into um, how well a line does when, they're, uh, when, they're not, when they have a lot of injuries? I could tell you, not well, but the Cowboys did pretty good for their injuries with uh, uh, Ty Smith and and Collins himself, and uh, of course with uh, Zach Martin was hurt. Anyway, um, with that being said, um, Zeke, who had nearly 800 yards uh, carrying before he was suspended, and he's still among the top leaders in rushing this season. I mean, I think that was smart, rem remarkable. But, you know, he's got two games left. I, I don't know if he's going to get 200 yards against the Seattle, but I say he'll get 150. I mean, they're going to try to damn sure try to do that. But you know what? Even to this, even if he only had between 10 and 15 carries this coming game against Seattle, they could, it, it, could build, it could still do a lot of damage to the Seattle Seahawks because the fact that he's back there and in tip-top shape, Puts the puts fear in to the linemen and the uh, in the backfield uh, and minds, and that opens up a variety of things for uh, the receivers, the tight ends, and of course, uh, well, the running game itself. And they open play action pass for Dak Prescott is even more dangerous. So, and that's that's when you have a full and healthy squad like the Cowboys in that regard, and they're they're hard to beat. I don't care who you are. What defense you think you have, okay? They're hard to beat. And so I'm glad to see him back. And, um, and I'm counting on this year and next season to have a great season. Uh, because um, it's, it's, I mean, it's going to be hard to get into the postseason. A few things may happen. A few things have already gone our way. But one that we needed to go our way was uh, the Atlanta game the other night. And none of this, is, none of this means anything unless it's predicated to the the, the the um, uh, Lions losing just one game the last two games. I mean, they're, they're capable of anything. They're so sorry. They're so, they're, they're so ridiculous that anything can happen. I think the Bengals could beat them, but the Bengals may not beat them. So if the Bengals do lose to them and, they, and the, Eagle, and the um, Lions went out, what the Cowboys do and anybody else do it doesn't matter because the Cowboys will be out of it. And that's okay. You know, I, I, you know, but I don't care what you all say. I want to. I want the. I, I know I have to talk about the Eagles fans and the Eagles uh, organization because they suck. I don't like them. I'm telling you how full of shit they are. But I'm gonna tell you this: you all should thank Roger Goodell. Right? All sit down in your little high chairs, you know, because we're all a bunch of babies any fucking way, and uh, get a little crayon and your little coloring books and write the back of it and write to Roger and tell him thank you, Roger, for the gift this season. For taking away six games of the Cowboys at potential uh, wins. Because, you know, uh, without that, we, we would have never been where we're at. Thanks, Roger. And thank you very much. And for, for that matter, for the rest of the league. The rest of the conference, for that matter. But that's okay. You know? We move on. We're the Cowboys. You understand? You look at our history, 33 times we showed up in the postseason in 57 years. 33 times. Ask any other league, 
any other t- team has it, that ever done that. We damn sure know the Eagles ain't did it. So, with that, it's my last video for the night. I'll probably make one tomorrow, maybe the next day. You know, so take care, Cowboys Nation. Fuck everybody else, especially the, the fucking Eagles fans.